I'm Lance Chad Gilianga. Um, my name Gilianga is actually a, a Yamaji name given to me by my father's people, elders. I grew up here with my uncles who were child artists from the famous Carolup Mission uh, painters. They were the child artists of Carolup. So I grew up as a small boy looking at those works and also helping to paint with them as well. They taught me that old style first. And, um, but I also used to listen to them talk about Albert Nemajura at that time as well. And old Albert died when I was five years old. But as a result of uh, my uncles, I, I became a painter. It was regarded in our, our family as pretty cool to be a good painter. And of course, Nemajura lifted a lot of our, our people. And so, you know, I, 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 uh, I remember as a small boy getting to my old man's boss's house. He was an old rough guy like Saltbush Bill. And I used to get into his house when he'd go to church. And he had a print of Uncle Reynold Hart's painting. And he had a print of Albert Damajira's. And I remember as a boy, I used to look at those paintings for hours. And as a result of those influences, early influences, I've been through, um, I was introduced to watercolours in, in Nemajira's country, so I started painting uh, landscapes and watercolours from those areas. Uh, but as time went by, as an artist, you start to realise that, um, you know, there's also a responsibility, you know, to culture and to promoting culture and, and, and uh, amongst our people as well as anybody else. So, um, as a part of as a landscape painter, I tend to paint our spiritual uh, landscapes as well, because our, our culture and our spirituality is land-based. Our culture has actually been described as, as a system of, um, of um, nature worship, you know, because of the... And I think uh, totemism is a very big thing in our culture. And that brings me back to this project, Prongrups, which is about totemism. Um, the Prongrups is a very old place and a very significant and ancient shrine in our culture. It's, it's, it's sacred. And in the old days, you know, our people never went through that ground. They always went around the Prongrups when they were travelling. And when they did go around and when they passed the Prongrups, they, they used to throw down fresh rushes and announce themselves. And, and uh, because Prongrups is, is, a, is, is a traditionally, it's a, it's a sanctuary for all the animals that exist there because they're brothers and sisters to the people, to the totems. Right on the top of the Prongrup is Wagon. He's the rainbow servant for the Nyunga people. And um, he's like, a, he's a creation spirit as well. But he's also a, the, the, the rewarder and the punisher. And he's all knowing and all seeing. So in the old days, our, our, our people, they were very law abiding because they lived in fear of Wagon or what the punishment, what they call Wagalang, is what we call punishment from Wagal. And there was nowhere, as I say, that you could hide from Wagal because that law was already inside you. Yeah. And you can't hide from yourself or Wagal, you know, it doesn't matter where. And also when we look at totems, what we call Boronga, our totem is our Boronga or our Boronga. That means your spiritual elder brother and that's blood mort or blood relation. So totemism is very important um, in our culture and, and, and Barongara is the place of the totemic spirits for the southern Bibliomen. <laughs>
how do we paint that kind of spirituality so that people can understand and it's not totally abstract um, whereby if you don't have the story you don't really know what's going on so the challenge is to try and as I say um, paint this kind of spirituality or paint a belief um, yeah, to be, make, to be able to make tangible what, what's not tangible, because it's an unseen world of belief. So our imaginations, you know, have to be there. And uh, it, it's good, I mean, I, I like it. It's, I think it's, it's good for me personally, spiritually as well. Well, I think that um, geographically I'm in the right place, um, but also myself uh, uh, and my um, life as an artist, I think that I've matured now enough to be able to do these projects. And I think cultural pride, and, uh, through cultural maintenance and restoration, is, uh, is really important, you know, to our people. I, I write songs about that as well with my sons and that, so I think that, uh, because there are a lot of, you know, people around who don't have a lot to be proud of but they can be proud in their culture and in their, in their spiritual beliefs. And so, um, I think it's very important, you know, from that, that perspective, as well as uh, 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 educating the wider world, but also to still some sort of cultural pride and identity in people, particularly our youth. Yeah. Um, cultural identity, I think, is very important. And I think that it's important that the wider community understand the, the stories and, and, and things associated with places like this. Because I believe that, you know, once they understand it, they also have a different respect for the place, uh, a different knowledge of the place, a different insight into the place, and history and prehistory, you know, into, into places like these places and into our culture. So it's, uh, yeah, from all those perspectives, I think these kind of projects are really important. They are, absolutely. For people's well-being, as well as anything else. I mean, it's been my refuge for years. I can lose myself here, so I'm lucky, you know, I can escape from a lot of stuff. The support from ADCO, and, um, and also the connection with uh, Nomad Two Worlds and that kind of collaborative stuff that we do, I think it's, it's, it's really good. It's, it's, um, it's enabled me to be able to do this.